Greetings everyone. Today we'd like to introduce the latest addition to the PDF ID product line. It's called PDF ID Lite and it's presently only available for InDesign CC through the Adobe Exchange panel. Over the last couple of years, Adobe has added the ability to purchase InDesign plugins right within InDesign. So with the release of InDesign CC, Recosoft has also released PDF ID version 4.0 for InDesign Creative Cloud that is directly available through this amazing system. So let's just observe this. He, so here we have InDesign CC running and I use the Adobe Exchange command. Well, it's actually right over here within the window, uh, menu of InDesign, and it's under the, the extensions and there's Adobe Exchange. So if I just select this, the Adobe Exchange panel appears and I already have the Adobe Exchange panel uh, appearing over here. So and you notice that PDF ID is available um, and in case you don't see it's featured you just type in PDF ID over here and immediately you find PDF ID for Mac and PDF ID for Windows notice that notice the price it's $99.99 which is the lowest cost version of PDF ID it's amazing price how about that um, you can click on any version you want to purchase it and it'll install right within InDesign in a matter of a seconds right after purchasing. Uh, there's just no hassles over here. It's a very straightforward process. We obviously have PDF ID Lite already installed, so we're just going to use PDF ID Lite to convert a PDF and to the InDesign format as usual. So let's just go to the Recosoft menu and we have the PDF ID convert PDF file command and let's just invoke it and select the PDF file to convert. Just click open over here and as usual PDF ID will pre-flight the PDF to check whether it uses or it actually contains fonts that it couldn't map what you have against what you have in your system. You click OK and we get to the main PDF ID options window over here. Now what we've done with PDF ID Lite is we've, we've actually removes some of the features that are available in PDF ID standard and professional uh, and we're trying to and we provided a straightforward edition of PDF ID so that you don't have to worry about performing any kind of configurations or settings and you can co concentrate on converting the file so what we're going to do is convert the file using PDF ID Lite and if you remember uh, PDF ID initially performed a pre-flight and warned about fonts not matching so let's perform the required font substitution in InDesign and proceed to convert the file. So we're going to go to font substitution, which is right over here within PDF ID. And we get all a list of fonts on the left, uh, which have been mismatched, uh, which actually couldn't be matched. And we're going to map each one of these. So what I'm going to do is if I, I'm, for every font in the unmapped fonts, all I have to select it and just click one over here and it'll map it and we're going to map these to the, to the most accurate ones. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select a bunch of fonts initially. I'm just going to select all of them. And because they're all in the M letter range, I'm just going to initially go and say these all belong to Minion to make things faster. So here I'll just write Minion Pro for everything initially. Now what I'm going to do is individually, I'm going to set the fonts. So Minion Bold maps to Minion Pro Bold. Minion Italic maps to Minion Pro Italic, Minion Regular, well that maps to Minion Pro, so Minion Semi-Bold Italic, that will map to Minion Pro Semi-Bold Italic, Myriad Bold, okay now we get to the Myriad section, so I'm going to select all of these Myriads, and now I'm going to take it to Myriad Pro, map it to Myriad Pro, which is the logical thing to do, and I'm going to then match each one individually, uh, so Myriad Pro Bold, Myriad Bold Italic, which is probably Bold Italic right there. Myriad Headline, I don't have that, so I'll just make it Myriad Pro Black. Myriad Italic will become Myriad Italic, Pro Italic, and Myriad Roman, that's already been mapped. Now we can convert the file. Well, all we have to do is click OK. Now, the best thing is that PDF ID version 4.0 is a fully 64-bit native system and you can observe how fast it's converting the file. It took you know this 15 page PDF and converted in a matter of seconds. Uh, now let's just observe the conversion. 
and let's observe the original PDF so I have it right over here uh, in Acrobat and what we're going to do is observe the layout fidelity I'm just going to get rid of the Adobe Exchange panel uh, notice the layout is extremely accurate as usual everything is editable we create paragraphs the layout is very well maintained and contained um, and these are all live and editable InDesign objects. This is a real image. Uh, let's just observe the links panel over here so that we have access to links. You notice that the image PPI has been accurately set and these are all linked, externally referenced and linked. Again, if you scroll down, you notice, let's again scroll down on the right hand side and observe the layout fidelity. Again, you notice how well the layout fidelity is. It's very well preserved right over there. Everything's editable. All text is live and editable. And we got this other page over here. And you notice that, oops, excuse me. There we go. You notice that this image here, let's just get rid of this. Oops. And resize this. And we can get to comparing. Now I notice that this image over here actually has a clipping path applied. So the layout fidelity and everything is preserved as usual and it's just like regular PDF to ID. It's just much lower cost and readily available through the Adobe Exchange Store. Um, so we've delivered a solution that anyone can now acquire in a very, uh, in a very attractive manner. PDF ID has been engineered and developed by Requisoft. For more information, please visit us at www.requisoft.com. That's www.requisoft.com. Thank you and goodbye.